Now tonight at five, more of our team coverage for you. The reaction to this arrest has been huge. Most people had been focused on her ex-boyfriend, Brooks Houck, who was named early on by the sheriff as the chief suspect, but never arrested. Since then, Bardstown has rallied around the family, making sure Crystal would not be forgotten. And that's where we join Travis Breeze and our senior photojournalist, Alyssa Newton. They're live right now in Bardstown. Uh, Travis, you have been talking to people right now. Are, are they as surprised as the rest of us here? I'm sure they are, but uh, what are they telling you about the news when they learned it? Well, Doug, ever since we started first talking to people, probably around 10, 30, 11 a.m. this morning, they were just kind of waking up and hearing the news for the first time. One woman really had her breath taken away when we told her there was at least an arrest in the Crystal Rogers case. You definitely got the feeling that this entire town wants the case solved so that they can move on and focus on the things that they truly want to be known for. I can't talk highly enough about this town and it breaks my heart that like what we're known for is something so horrible and heinous. Tourists walking around Friday, taking in the bourbon capital of the world, while locals celebrated progress in one of the high profile disappearances. I think a lot of people here had started to feel like it was never like we were never going to get there. Alyssa Davis was leaving brunch and was very happy to hear the news. Pro would probably say the same that it's just this huge relief to finally know that somewhere something is being done. She, like many, thinks the Jason Ellis case and others are all connected. She hopes having Lawson in custody will lead to more arrests. Until consequences are brought up like to people that have been involved they're not going to turn on anybody else crystal did not deserve to not be here others say the fbi taking over has made a big difference and feel we are close to a bigger breakthrough i i had a feeling it was just a matter of time and here it is hopefully we'll hear more they have no doubt the news will spread fast, and they hope progress in the case and progress for the community do as well. I want to see Bardstown back to kind of being what I knew it growing up, which was a safe and really pretty place to grow up. We did show Joseph Lawson's photo to a few people while we were out. Uh, none of them said that he looked very familiar, but we do know that he is a Nelson County resident. Live in Bardstown, Travis Breeze, WHAS 11 on your side.